Hello, my name is Pence, uh, and we're very excited to bring you uh, the first gameplay of Questria. Questria is a four-player dungeon crawler. With me today is... Uh, I'm Muffins. Uh, people are probably going to wonder why I'm called Muffins. It's because I failed to come up with a moniker for myself prior to this meeting, so uh, five minutes before we recorded this, the team has now called me Muffins, and I will have to live with this for the next couple months. No one wonders why you're called Muffins. We've all seen you. Uh, hey, Internet. I'm Shenanigans. I am the sort of the lead gameplay designer here, and for that reason, I'm really, really excited to show you what we have so far. It's very pre-alpha. It's very early, still rough, but you know we're working really hard to make all of that button pressing you're gonna be doing lots and lots of fun in Questria, and uh, and I'm really excited to show you what we have so far. Uh, hello, internet. I'm Antarius, and I'm really eager to see what you think about our game. My name is Table Manners, and I'm really excited to show you what we have right now. It's not going to get any more excited. No, just then don't say excited. Like, okay, but I am excited. Girls can get away with not being exciting because... They're girls on the internet. They're girls on the internet. Like, it doesn't matter what she sounds like. People are going to love her. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, Muffins again. So uh, we're going to take a little dive into gameplay now. You can see we have uh, three of our lovely ponies wandering around at the time being. We're going to give you a quick intro to these... Uh, these ponies and what they actually do in the world we've been designing for them. So as you can see, we have the three main ponies that you see in the game in the show. You have the Pegasus, the Unicorn, and the Earth Ponies. So we're going to start off talking about the Earth Pony. Um, you can see the Earth Pony here is kind of showing off their stomp ability. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the stomp ability we designed is sort of an AOE type of maneuver. A lot of these abilities you're going to see today, though, they're just works in progress. So we're going to knock over these crates. Uh, you can see that the AOE from this stomp actually will knock around physics objects and allow you to manipulate the world in some way. Um, as I mentioned, though, a lot of these abilities are just starting points for us. We're still pre-alpha, we're still working these out, and uh, as we go along, these are definitely going to drastically change as gameplay changes. Uh, as you can see as well, we're showing up a block here, shown by that crazy particle effect. And the pony can actually adjust itself while it's stationary in one spot. Our idea behind this design was so that the pony could actually lock down an area in combat and deny enemies movement to certain areas to keep spellcasters and other lighter ponies like the Pegasus a little safer if they really need the protection from groups. Uh, so we're just going to show up a little bit of combat here. I'm actually fighting off one of the changelings that we have at the time being. That also suspiciously has a bacon cutie mark, like everything in this demo. That uh, that was actually totally intentional because the only cutie mark we had ready was was bacon. Because you know, bacon on ponies, it just makes sense. It just feels like the right thing to do. This is our pre-alpha changeling. Our alpha changeling actually looks like a changeling now. Just want you to know, looks like a changeling, not. Just a pony with bacon. All right, so Shanigan's back here again, and we're playing with the pony. Well, I'm playing with the pony. You guys are watching me. It's fun. Uh, I got the the unicorn here going on, and as you can see, the unicorn. Uh, one of the unicorn's main abilities is to sp sprout a whole bunch of rocks out of the ground, and this ability we use this to sort of wall off enemies, either to protect uh, our allies or just hinder enemies, make them path around a little, takes a little bit longer. Just gives us a little breathing room and lets us sort of shape the world, uh, the, the battlefield a little bit more towards our liking. Uh, it's also great for trolling friends. Uh, you can see here that we have also a uh, circular effect that the Pegasus, or the Unicorn, excuse me, can uh, create that does damage to uh, everything around it, except chests. I'm not sure why. It's probably by design. Um, nobody wants to break chests. But it can break rocks, so there's a little bit of, uh, you know, if you've got a wall made up, you got to be careful about where you place that, uh, place that, uh, the pony. Oh no, we got some enemies coming in. Muffin spawned some enemies on me. He's jealous of my rock wielding powers. You have no idea how jealous I am. So jealous, but as you can see, they are those enemies are no match for my massive, massive uh, damaging attacks, and I can pretty much just carry on, running around, walling things off. Doing some damage. Watch for more enemies. Oh my gosh, more enemies. I have a feeling that in the next patch, we're definitely going to have to nerf that thing because that's too OP. Shh. Sure. Come on. Why? Why would you do that? That's Nobody likes nerfs. So you can see here, I'm using the rock walls to, to split up uh, enemies to sort of divide them to protect my squishy, weakling pony friends from all of the badness that, that the changelings represent, the dark changelings. Hey there. 
Kayla and her is. And now Kaylin is trying to trap me with the rocks that he can make because he's a unicorn. But he can't because I'm a Pegasus. And one of the Pegasus abilities is flying, which you're seeing right now. You can fly pretty much anywhere you want. Eventually, you we're, well, we're planning to allow the Pegasus to pick up allies and enemies, transport them or drop them, damaging them. But right now, <laughs> what you can do is fly. So that's what we're showing. Um, the Pegasus also has another ability. It's offensive. This one's just kind of trans transportative at the moment. I suppose there's a lot of focus on the uh, unicorn side that get cut out. But uh, this is you. Again. But the teleportation thing. Yes. The Pegasus's offensive ability is the teleport, which you just saw. It's if there had been enemies or items there, they would not be there anymore because they'd be destroyed by the awesome teleportative ability. So you're so you're actually charging the the Pegasus through there. And yes, what's going on we're there. flying like, very very fast. It's very powerful. It does damage to, to, to every, anything in its path. Everything in that line. Anything right. in front of the Pegasus. Well, so Pegasus. Uh, I think we're gonna jazz things up a bit here. We don't have really a good idea of how combat's going to work in Questria yet. We're still working on that since this is pre-alpha. But we're going to spawn a big whack load of enemies and we're going to fight them all because, hey, we got ponies, we got powers, so why not do it? For pony. Yeah. Yay. First, let's run around looking like... Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> I promise we're smarter than this as game makers. All right, so I'm going to wall off some enemies here first off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one got through. That's okay. That's okay. Boom. I'm going to lock down one area here. But as you, as you can take note, that uh, the reason why we're going to have to nerf that uh, unicorn in the next patch, because unicorn is OP. Well, I would say that it's the enemies that are too UP. 